Hey, it's uh, Raven Dactical here. Um, I had the day off from work. I had to go to my annual physical for uh, a dad the doctor. Not a huge deal, just an annual checkup. Um, so I figured, well, I have daylight and stuff that I can make a video and kind of do a little bit of an update. So, um, so the major things I think this week that we were able to get done is we were able to plan out uh, the potential site for the new garden. Uh, potential site for the greenhouse and starting to make a list of supplies that we're going to need because it's not going to be a pre-built greenhouse it's going to be a ground up greenhouse um so that's pretty cool uh, some things that we also did is i got the chicken order in so we're expanding our chickens um which is great because the the house that we built or the chicken coop that we built is sustainable for a little bit more chickens and i want to continuously kind of rotating through so some of the older chickens are over three years old, and I believe our current chickens are two years old, or a year to two years old. So we want to be able to have an abundance of eggs, for one, and two, we want to be able to make sure that as the chickens cycle out of age, um, that they still we still have eggs coming in. Um, and I'll kind of do, when the chicks come in, I'll do a video of them, and kind of like maybe some stages of them growing up. Um, they do grow pretty fast because when we got our first initial buffs it wasn't too long they were always constantly it was like it was crazy one day you come back and like the next day they're you know doubling in size so they're pretty cool um as far as doing meat birds this year it's a possibility it's just a matter of trying to figure out how i want to do the coop and funds um we also planned out in the first spring project is going to be fixing our dam and repairing the pond area and so it's going to be a little bit of work, a little bit of money in that, and trying to get some material for that. So that'll be interesting to do too. Um, and that's kind of a weird project that um, maybe won't be shown too much, but maybe once the whole overall project is done, we'll have it completed and then we'll be able to show you maybe like putting fish into the pond. Um, one tip I was given was planting catnip plants. I can't remember the actual term, but the plant is but planting camp around the pond is supposed to repel mosquitoes a little bit more, um, which we did. We do have that as an issue. The mosquitoes are heavy, um, mostly because of the, the water in the pond. It does drain, but it's not as fast. Um, would like ducks in the pond, that'd be kind of cool. We had some ducks, but I think they got eaten. Um, we got them a little bit later in the season and they didn't really have a, a system for coming back and forth yet. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully get fish uh, once the pond is secured. I don't want to put fish into a pond and then have the dam blow and then we wind up losing our investment. So that's kind of an interesting thing too. Um, we we're in February and the weather's been kind of mild, so which I'm glad because I'm like, I do not like the epic colds and that's kind of helping us out a little bit. Um, I'm hoping for a mild winter this year and then get go forward and actually get some of these bigger projects done. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Um, diet and exercise, I'm down a few pounds, um, lifting more, running more, um, getting a better set of work boots is going to be crucial. Um, and that's one thing I learned too, I, don't, I probably talked about it before. If you're on your feet a lot, and as you get older, your feet do get bigger surprisingly, right? The ligaments and everything stretch out, so your feet are actually going to get bigger. You're not going to stay the same size. So that is something to be aware of and get your feet checked for proper fitment. I mean, it's like everything else. I talked about getting good boots and good boots help you, your back and everything else. So if your feet are tired, imagine what your back is tired. You know, your back is sore, your knees are sore and like, you know, spending a couple extra bucks and getting decent footwear and being comfortable and taking care of them is hugely important and it's going to save you in the long run. Um, what else do we got? Um, we are working on that. We're going to help our neighbors who are potentially going to build a greenhouse. Um, I know we're looking into dabbling with solar and hopefully I can talk, hopefully I can get a little bit of an interview with the guy that I talked about in the beginning from U.S. Solar Mount, Eric Pipkin, really good guy from U.S. Solar Mount. He is the go-to guy for solar. I mean, there's nobody else, I can tell you, that understands prepping and homesteading needs and he understands the solar and the fabrication for solar like nothing other. So I would say I recommend him 
Uh, I'll try to remember to put a link in there. We'll try to get an interview with him. So it's good. So honestly, um, this is going to be short. This is Raven Tactical signing out. Um, thank you for your support and the subscriptions to the channel. Please keep sharing and subscribing and letting us grow. You know, thank you.